Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and All Ears Net with today's Disney Fast Facts. Today we've got your fun fast facts about Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. If you build it, they will come. But if Robert A. M. Stern Architects builds it, not only will they come, but they will all be amazed. They are a top architectural firm based in New York City, and they are no stranger to working with Disney. In addition to designing the feature animation building in California and the casting center in Florida, they also designed Disney's Boardwalk Resort and the plan for Paris Disneyland. They also created the master plan for Disney's planned community of Celebration Florida, which is a town encompassing 4,900 acres and about 20,000 residents. Though not the biggest of their projects, their design of the Yacht and Beach Club is one of Disney's true gems. Robert A. M. Stern envisioned the resort as a village across the water. In other words, a peaceful, relaxing place for those looking for a bit of a break from the pace, excitement, and, well, noise of the Walt Disney World theme parks. Stern was notorious for doing deep research on his project, so while many visitors will admire the Yacht Club's beauty, there is a ton of rich architectural history behind the resort. It was designed to look like a turn-of-the-century seaside town in the Mid-Atlantic or New England, like Cape May or Coney Island and Stern's vast experience in East Coast seaside hotels of the late 1800s is greatly evidenced by the design details throughout the resort. A major part of the design is the merging of styles. For instance, the main restaurant at the Beach Club is the Cape May Cafe, which celebrates a very unique style of South Jersey architecture. For those who have gone on the way to Cape May, you'll know that the town is a beautiful celebration of color and turn-of-the-century style. You'll also find influences from Martha's Vineyard, another unique style blended into the Master Beach Resort theme. What separates the resort design from their historical models is the sheer size of the resort. The Yacht Club has 635 rooms, the Beach Club 584. The two wings reach out to embrace a meandering serpentine swimming pool. On the other side, adjacent to the Yacht Club with a similar style, is a 73,000 square foot convention center with a 36,000 square foot ballroom. With its oak floors, brass accents and low ceilings, the Yacht Club lobby is more formal in atmosphere than that of the Beach Club, which seems more airy with sandstone floors and wicker furniture. The Yacht Club is home to one of the highlights of the Disney resorts, Stormalong Bay, a three-acre swimming complex complete with a life-sized shipwreck. The Yacht Club's pool boasts the tallest water slide at all of the resorts on the Walt Disney World property, and the bottom of the entire pool is covered with sand. If you've never been in a sand bottom pool, then you must put it on your Disney bucket list. But wait, there's more. You can also take a long, relaxing float down a lazy river or mellow out in one of three Whirlpool spas. One final stroke of subliminal design is the amount of outdoor activities included for guests. Along with guided outdoor adventures like bass fishing excursions, guests are welcome to play a game of volleyball, enjoy day or night tennis, go for a quick run along one of the several jogging trails, or play 18 holes on the miniature golf course next door. You can also captain your own ship when you rent your own motorized boat from Bayside Marina, ranging from private mini power boats for two to Sun Tracker pontoon boats for small parties. Here's some quick tips for Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. The Yacht and Beach Club Resorts share many amenities, so guests can easily take advantage of all of the restaurants and pools that are shared between the resorts, along with other amenities like a business center, salon, and spa. Oh yeah, and a fitness center if you want to do that on vacation. Epcot is less than a 10-minute walk to the International Gateway entrance, not to mention you're a hop-skip from all the shopping, dining, and entertainment at the boardwalk. 
You can also catch transportation to other destinations by boat, including the entrance to Hollywood Studios. Walking time to the transportation loading areas from even some of the most remote rooms is only about seven minutes. Beaches and cream. Go there. And when you go there, remember these words. Don't rush. You're welcome. There's your Disney Fast Facts about Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. It's one of those resorts where the immersion is subtle. It's not like walking into Galaxy's Edge and knowing you're in the Star Wars galaxy. With Yacht and Beach, you are subliminally immersed into a relaxing beach environment that is huddled in the middle of thousands of acres of, well, mayhem. I don't think many people think of this resort first when booking a trip, but it's certainly always a wonderful experience, so you should put this on your radar. Have you been there? And if you've been there, what was your experience like? As always, we want to hear about your thoughts in the comments. We'd also love for you to jump over to All Ears Net and write a review about this resort. People keep forgetting they can write reviews on our site and help others plan a better trip. Hey, if you like this video, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEarsNet for more Disney news, fun, and stuff. And follow us on Instagram at AllEarsNet. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here, and please subscribe to All Ears Net. Clang the little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time.